Hey, good morning everybody. West here. I've got the uh, the DQ V2 out for maiden flight. Gorgeous morning, Southern California. Um, got some temporary tape ups going on here. I've got uh, servo wires in the back here under blue tape and I'll route those in um, after I figure out exactly what I want to do with that. Using the uh, the new Velcro, first time using the Velcro hold down and I have a couple of rubber bands underneath uh, on the on the wing plate to add friction between the wing and the wing plate. Sort of classic lines. I'm running uh, rudder servo back here, rudder aileron and uh, elevator. Also have flaps, um, single position flaps, and I've kind of guesstimated it about a maybe a 40% flap is possible. Um, Speed controller there is behind the prop and the wash on the motor plate. You can see the uh, there's a pair of 3600s, uh, three cell 3600 turnages there strapped in the uh, battery bay or niche or whatever you want to call that. Um, got that PVC skid in the front and the tail. So if I have to come down on that nose a little bit, I'm not grinding up uh, foam. Also have the um, video battery notched in there in red uh, with the hold down tape. I've got the ballast of the bloggy and uh, the CCD camera business up on the front end. I'm hoping that uh, my CG calculation here is, is quite nose heavy that I can lighten up that front end quite a bit. See the straps there for the uh, battery hold down. Black would have been better, but uh, you know what? I had white on hand. Um, it's going to be picked up at any fabric store, um, black, white, uh, without the sticky mounting tape business on it. Um, that's a 2826 uh, motor from Hobby People. It's 900 kV. Uh, there's a 40 amp speed control on there. Batteries are in uh, parallel, so I'm getting uh, 3600 times 2 as far as time. So I'm setting a clock for 20 minutes. And uh, this is a stiffer, stronger, this is using a half inch by half inch poplar, uh, poplar spar in there. Really like the way this one came out. Some new material as well as the, um, the covering. The yellow is that shelf paper from uh, from 99 cent store. The black is all um, is all the duct tape. I wish I would have done that differently. I may end up uh, building a new fuse and doing um, the black shelf paper. They have other colors too. Kind of a neon orange just some interesting stuff. Go to the 99 cent store and check out their their shelf paper rack. It's a wire rack that's over in the kitchen, uh, obviously in the kitchen area, kitchen stuff. Kitchen gadgets and whatnots. Alright, I'll be um, start setting the clock for 20 and uh, we'll get her going here. I'm going to take off with um, with no flaps. Actually, I'll put the flaps down. Let me see how much that was. Yeah, I could take off with flaps. I don't think there's any um, high risk there as being real draggy and causing uh, stall. We'll go with that. I'll take off as tail dragger here and on a, not a hand launch, and we'll see how it goes. Hat cam going on. <clears throat> Starting the clock. 20 minutes. Maiden voyage of the DQV2. There she goes.
Flaps are coming down. Need a lot of nose trim. Pitch trim down. A lot of pitch trim down. Full down trim right there. Bringing the throttle back. Oh, my flaps are still up. All I did was change the, uh, oops. Okay. Okay, that was the problem. That makes more sense. I hit the wrong button. I hit dual rate elevator. Which seems to be, have been a good choice too. Let me get some altitude here. Looking a little scary at this elevation. Going up. Got lots of power to weight ratio. Alright, power off. Nosing over. Yeah, she's definitely nose heavy. That's good. Right, I'm going to set up for a landing without flaps. I did not put any uh, thrust thrust angle correction. Um, typically your tractor style motors in the front like this, you'll want to put a down and right and uh, to, to correct for torque torque roll causing the bird to roll left. Um, the opposite of the of the motor. So I've been putting in left which doesn't uh, doesn't make sense um, doesn't make sense with the the way she's behaving. So for some reason she's wanting to roll to the right and um, still making some adjustments there. Could be the flap one of the inboard flaps or something is let me see Checking the inboard flaps real quick for alignment. Well, there's there's some cause right there. The um, the right flap is higher than the left flap. Let me make that adjustment real quick, and that's probably part of why she's wanting to turn right. Should have checked the motor while I was at it. Warm but not hot. Speed control, barely warm. Feels pretty good. CG is about one quarter inch behind predicted. I'm just gonna shift. Shift the battery weight back, and then I'll know where CG is with the, this is a little finer, finer tuning. If I pull off a big chunk of weight, you know, that's not very fine as far as adjustment goes. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to try to get to where I'm about a half inch behind predicted. Yeah, since the batteries are located pretty much under the CG, they don't, they make a real fine amount of uh, change, which is good. Okay, let me check the camera. All right. Made some uh, CG adjustment. And trim adjustment. Here we go again. fly around with elevator high rate that rate needs to be adjusted it's a little too too little okay now I'm turning left yeah that's good so 
that flap was part of the problem. It's looking pretty. Pulling the throttle back a little bit for cruise into the wind breeze. There's there's a slight gentle morning breeze. Just needs a little tiny up on turns, typical. So she behaves nicely in turns. With speed, she's climbing. Into the sun. Not the preferred place to fly. Throttle off. Oh, look at that. That's good. Okay, so she had a little nose tendency, nose down tendency with that. I'll check the elevator trim when she lands to see where that's at. I believe we're still very neutral. Hard left or hard right. Bank. Responds very nicely. Yeah, a lot like the other one. Gentle. I'm going to put one click up at this throttle see what I can do as far as uh, maintaining an altitude on level flight we'll pull the throttle back a little bit more Little breeze picking up out of the west. Let's see what a rudder effect has on the turn. That's all rudder and elevator. That's rudder. Haven't flown by a rudder in a while. Doesn't seem to give it any strange behaviors. Not so responsive in high bank though. Takes a long time. Flat wing, you know. If we were dealing with a dihedral that would be different. Dehedral design wing. It's hard to manage the throttle when you're using rudder. It wants to move on you. Set up for runway landing. There's my 20 minute clock. Fly by. Setting up for approach. Turn final. Leaving the throttle on. Little throttle. Lined up. Throttling off. Not very pretty, but uh, controlled. 